This question is from 2017 AMC8. Problem 23. Each day for four days, Linda traveled for one hour. So every single day she is traveling the same amount of time at a speed that resulted in her traveling one mile in an integer number of minutes. So she is traveling one mile in some integer number of minutes. So t minute. And we know this t. We know this t has to be integer because she is traveling an integer number of minutes. Okay, and each day after the first, her speed decreased so the number of minutes to travel one mile increased by five minutes over the preceding day. So number of minutes it's taking her to go one mile is increasing by five each day. That's interesting. And each of the four days, her distance traveled was also an integer. So we know the distance traveled was an integer number of miles. Okay, that's good to know. What was the total number of miles for the four trips? Well, let's start by realizing that she is traveling one hour, which is equal to 60 minutes. I want to keep it in minutes because the units are minutes for the time. So when we multiply this thing by 60 minutes, we should the minutes should cancel out. So we should get how many miles she is traveling. And that's telling us that she is traveling 60 over t miles every single day and we know this entire thing the distance traveled has to be integer and we know t has to be integer so what's that telling us about t well combined that's telling us that t has to be t has to be factor of 60 because when t is a factor of 60 60 divided by t should be integer also Okay, so let's try to find what factors of 60 there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, uh, 15, 20, 30, and 60. And we know the t is increasing by 5 each day, and we are traveling for 4 days. So we want to find 5 factors of 60. We have to select 5, not 5, 4 factors because we are traveling for four days, right? So we want to select four factors of 60 separated by five because t is increasing by five and it's pretty easy to figure that out. There's five, 10, 15, and 20. So these are the values, these are the values of t. And we wish to find the total number of miles for the four trips. So we have to calculate distance for each of them and just add them up. Distance when we're traveling five, five hours is 60 over five, five hours for one mile. So that's going to get us 12 miles for this one. For 10, it's going to be 60 over 10, which is six. I'm just applying this formula. And for 15, we're going to get four, 20, we're going to get three. 12 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 is going to get us, that's 18, that's 7. Adding all of them up gets us 25. So the answer to this question is C.